Face south. Go straight for six miles. Then turn left. Go straight for three miles. Turn right. Go straight for three miles and turn left. Go straight for three miles. Turn right. Continue straight for 12 miles. Then turn right again. Continue straight for 9 miles. Turn right and go straight for 3 miles. Turn right again and go straight for 3 miles. Finally, turn left and go straight for 6 miles. You will find the treasure there. And just like that, we arrive in front of a huge old gate. We need to find a way to open it. The treasure must be behind it. But how do we do that? Blackbeard's notes might give us a hint again. Hmm, you will need these to open the gate. What could that mean? Hmm, now let's see if we can make some sense of this. We inspect the gate closer. We can see dark green crystals, and there are two large snakes sculpted into the gate. That's no help. Wait a minute, there are some strange buttons by the gate. What happens if we press one? Oh, uh, interesting. I've got an idea. There are 12 words in Blackbeard's notes and 12 buttons around the gate. The notes are divided into three sections, left, right and middle. Each one has got four words. There are also four buttons in front of each section of the gate. That must be connected. I think we just need to press the buttons in the correct order. This is the sound uh, as in the word legend, uh. This is the sound o, oh, as in the word rock, o. Oh. This is the sound i, as in the word Wind. I. And that's the sound A. Uh, as in the word monkey. A. Uh. Let's try this. Fog. Fog. O. Oh. Desert. Desert. Uh. Sunset. Sunset. Ah. Uh. Different. Different. I. That's it. This is the sound th, as in the word north, th. 
the? This sounds like ow. Isn't the word south? Ow. This sounds like air. Isn't the word appear? Air. And this sounds like I. Isn't the word sky? I. Hair. Hair. Air. Three. Three. Th. Lightning. Lightning. I. Cloud. Cloud. Ow. This is the sound sh, as in the word ship, sh. This sounds like ah, as in the word palm, ah. This is the sound ah, as in the word captain, ah. And finally, this is the sound er, uh, as in the word shirt. Uh. Bush. Bush. Sh. Cannon. Cannon. Ah. Bird. Bird. Uh. Fast, fast. Ah. The gate's opened. We walk through it and enter a small courtyard. Hmm, wasn't there a similar drawing in Blackbeard's notes? Yes, that's the same courtyard. The notes say, remember, X marks the spot. And there are those same strange symbols around the drawing. Why are some of the letters written in a different color? Hmm, remember, remember. I know! Let's match the symbols and the sounds of the parts in a different color. Remember. Remember. X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Now we've got four symbols. But what next? X marks the spot. What if we tried to connect the symbols? Yes, that's it. Now it looks a bit like an X. But we can't see any treasure. It must be buried underground. It's lucky we've brought a shovel with us. We need to dig the treasure up. And so we start digging. <sighs> and we keep digging for what seems like hours. It's hard work. We are beginning to lose hope. It seems like there's no treasure here after all. But then...
We find a large chest. Unfortunately, we can't open it. It's locked. We must find a way to open the lock. Let's have a closer look at it. Interesting. There are several buttons with those strange symbols around the lock. There are also pictures of six different animals on it. The first one is a picture of a blackbird. Hmm, which of these buttons should we press? If we read the first button out loud, it sounds like blackbeard. The second one sounds like blackbird. Let's press the second one then. It worked! Now we just need to do the same with all the other pictures. Parrot. Parrot. Shark. Shark. Rat. Rat. Mouse. Mouse. Fish. Fish. We wait with bated breath and the lock opens. We can't believe our eyes. This is it. We've found it. Blackbeard's treasure. Let's take it back to our ship. We can finally sail back home.